So today I thought I'd finally do something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now and that's make a bear backpack. This is a bear that's gonna be my backpack. And um, obviously you can do this with any animal. I got mine from the charity shop, really lovely. He was only a pound and I, I did that because obviously I don't know how this is gonna go and I don't wanna spend too much money on this project for it to go wrong. So for this project, you're gonna need your stuffed animal of your choice, obviously big enough for a backpack. You're gonna need some spare fabric for the pocket of the pouch, a zipper and straps. I'm just using cheap belts. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get a steam ripper or cutter. It's just basically this thing. You get them in like Tesco's and stuff. He's really fluffy but I'm gonna try and find the original seam so I can reopen that so I'm not just cutting straight into his fluff. No hard feelings. If like it's really fluffy, um, just like pull where the middle of the bear is roughly and you'll start to feel it. Like I can even feel it slowly like coming apart even just pulling it so. I don't want to undo the stitches too far. I'm really scared of its head coming off if I do that. Split there. I kind of want to make it bigger, but I'm scared of going into his head and his head coming off. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like such a monster. That is a big enough opening for the zip to go in. But yeah, so now we've got our place for the zip and we're gonna go ahead now and take out some of the stuffing. So when we put the pouch in there, you'll have room to fit things in it. You don't wanna take out too much fluff, otherwise it will look insanely defluff. So basically don't take any stuffing out the hands or the feet or the head because those bits always need to be propped up somehow. But take it out of the main body and try not to take too much otherwise it might slide around. I ended up taking out this much fluff. Um, so I've taken out quite a lot of his belly so like he's lost a bit of weight. You were perfect just the way you were though. And now we're gonna sew a pouch, like a rectangular pouch to put inside that. Depending on how big your bear is, you're gonna cut like a medium size, so like slightly larger pocket. Well, I'm gonna start with just um, folding over the fabric so I don't have to sew one side. Put it about there. I'm gonna see if that fits in the way it is and if it's not we'll just cut it a bit smaller. It fits but it's a bit big. So it's better to trim it too little than too much because at least if you trim it too little you can just cut it again instead of cutting an entirely new pouch. Okay so that seems about right and it's the right size for the hole I cut so that's perfect. So now I'm just gonna turn it inside out. This pattern it's not so vibrant on one side. When I opened the bag I went to see the clouds and stuff so I'll sew it this way. Like you don't have to pin this like usually I'll pin something if it's going through the sewing machine but this is just so it doesn't end up a wonky on one side um, and I don't realise it until I've sewn it. Obviously you're just gonna sew down here and down here and if you didn't already have a fold here, sew here but don't sew here because then it won't be a pocket. You need to leave one bit open for, for the pocket. So I finished the pocket, there's rainbows inside it, which is lovely. It's like, I got a pocket, got a pocket for the sunshine. It's quite roomy, so that's good. Now, I just need to stitch the pocket to the bits around the outside, which is going to be really fiddly. You'll definitely need pins for that, I think. I'm just pinning the pouch bit to the, the inside bits where I'm going to sew it so it doesn't move because it's extremely, extremely fiddly. There we go. Wow, I'm really excited about this, actually. And I, while here, I'm just checking that I like the amount of stuffing in them. Yeah, I like it. So, ready to sew. Okay, so I just sewed the pocket and I really, really like it. Now we just need to put the zip on it. I got this 18 centimeter or seven inch zip. So it's gonna start here. I'll sew it here and then end here. But if it's too long, you can just tuck the rest of it in. So I'm gonna pin it down first and then sew it. Okay, so now that I've mostly pinned 
the zip in place, I'm going to go ahead and trim some of the fur that's poking through because it means that when I try to zip it down, it gets in the way. So I've sewn on the zip. It looks kind of messy, but you're not going to see this bit because it's going to be on your back. These are what I've decided to use for the straps. They're one pound belts from Primark and I just thought they bended really well and I thought that they went well with this colour. So I bought two. The only problem that I have with these is that they are braided. And so I'm going to put some hot glue, like measure it out first of all, but I'm going to pin it to my bear and then try it on and then make a mark and then put hot glue so it bonds the pleats together so it doesn't come unraveled. Um, and then cut it, attach it to the bear, sew it to the bear. Tomorrow as well, I'm going to um, customise them a bit to make them more like me. Okay, so it's a different day, but I um, mean, I think I've worked out the right size, but just to be sure, I'm going to stitch it onto the bear quite loosely at first. So if it's not the right size, I can cut it and then stitch it on again. I'm in a different place with like more or less strap room. Sew it on loosely. So, you know, you can take out the stitches if they're in their own place and then just try it on and see if it fits. <laughs> This is the strap way that I felt works the best basically. So the strap's quite high up and because otherwise the first time I sewed them I sewed them here and here at his neck and he sort of like drooped forward so he sort of stands up better if he's that way. He's all finished, got the straps and he looks really good on. Um, I need to fix these bits because they just kind of stick out so I'm probably going to hot glue them down and um, the same with the bottom bits. I'm really happy about this and um, I can't wait. It's raining just now but I can't wait until it's sunny are just not raining so I can wear them and he won't get wet. Now I just want to make him look more like my bear. <laughs> okay, don't want to give him like a magical girl transformation. <laughs> are you ready for this? <laughs> cut the hair around the eyes a bit shorter and then I got hairspray and I like just brushed the hair around his eyes back and he just looks so much better like he just looks so much happier and I did the same thing with his mouth obviously I coloured in this bit and it looks really dark because the pen's dark and that might not change but that's okay like I cut around where his smile was to like show that a bit more and I just think he looks so much happier yeah oh <laughs> okay so that's me finished I think she looks lovely, or he. I'm not decided. I also need to decide a name. So if you have any suggestions for names, comment below. And I'm really happy with it. So if you make one, tell me. And I'm absolutely in love with her. I'll honestly probably wear it in her like every day of summer. So excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, have a good week. Goodbye. <laughs>